it's time to dive deep into the lore behind the face of the Swarm faction seen in the Gears of War universe, the Snatchers, as well as their juvenile forms, the Pouncers. As always, I'm your host Abs, and welcome to another lore video. Make sure to chainsaw your way through that like button and consider subscribing if you do enjoy the video for more similar content like this. The most notable creatures that the Swarm had at their disposal were the Snatchers, large quadrupedal beasts found within the swarm and known for snatching human victims by unzipping its stomach and pulling its victims inside, carrying them to swarm hives and enveloping them into pods where they are transformed into juvies who later grow into imagos and then drones for the swarm army. Snatchers spot any vulnerable human targets they see in the open and immediately fire its quill from their tail. An impact from its pointy quill instantly incapacitates human victims, thus allowing Snatchers to quickly run up and drag the incapacitated human into its unzipped stomach. Once the Snatchers capture its victim, they would head back to the hives to deposit and incubate them in membranous pods, where humans would undergo the process of mutating into juvies. Snatchers are thickly armoured and it makes them extremely difficult to kill. On the other hand, its glowing stomach remains unprotected, leaving it susceptible to gunfire. The origins of the Snatchers currently remain shrouded in mystery, and very little is known about how they are formed. It is most theoretically possible that Snatchers could have been spawned directly from the Locust burial sites. The birth of the Snatchers is not yet known, as it is not known what exactly birthed them. One of the ways to counter the Snatchers in order to infiltrate a swarm hive that Hannah Cole and Colonel Hoffman came up with were the Adrenaline Injectors. These are specialised face masks with a tracheal tube. After the Venom Bomb, it is the Hive Buster's most vital piece of equipment as it awakens them when they are within the actual pod itself, allowing them to cut their way out and begin their mission. Team Scorpio used these and allowed themselves to be captured by Snatchers and were taken into the heart of the Hive on Pahanu. Using the new adrenaline injectors created by Hannah, Scorpio escaped their pods and successfully destroyed the hive. The Snatchers were the first of the swarm to ever make an appearance, so you could say they are the face of the swarm, just like how the wretches were the first locust to ever make an appearance. It seems like the Scions have some way of controlling the Snatchers and other swarm creatures. When the Speaker raided the outside of village led by Reyna Diaz, Dozens of Snatchers were accompanied by the Scion, where they immediately began abducting Oscar and the rest of the villagers. So I'm intrigued to know as to how these beasts are controlled or tamed by the Scions. Perhaps the lore isn't explained as of now, as there is quite a lot of mystery with the swarm as of creating this video. We do know that the Locust Horde controlled many of the hollow creatures using the helmet technology created by the Locust geneticist Ukon. I think that if the Snatchers spawned directly from the burial sites, then they may have been part of the hive mind, which would explain that pretty well. Now the juvenile form of the Snatchers were the Pouncers. Its main hunting trait is its tail quills, which are able to be released at high speeds and directly at its enemy in a shotgun like manner in a horizontal spread. These quills are able to regrow very very quickly. It also uses its tail to help push off a surface to allow it to leap great distances. They jump on top of objects to get a better view of their targets, and to pounce on them, hence the name Pouncer. If you get pounced on by one of them, you will have to fight it off in a manner similar to a chainsaw duel, but an ally can help you free from their grip as well. The Pouncer also possesses a natural ability to hack into DBs via its quills. Pouncers tend to hunt in packs and are moderately armoured, therefore they are weak to attacks on their glowing stomach. They can also be chainsawed, provided that they have been knocked off of an ally, have attempted to pounce on an ally, and that ally dodged, or the chainsaw is already revved and it pounces on you. So that my friends is a quick fire lore video behind the swarm snatchers and the pouncers. Let me know what you think of these enemy types in the comments below. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video for more lore videos like this, and also a special thank you as always to the YouTube channel members, Jason, GearsManiac06, and SlipperyManGravy for helping support the channel. Thank you very much for watching, I'm your host Abs, and I'll catch you next time.